All right, welcome back everyone to uh, Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Krosmer. So Michelle, we're continuing our polycystic kidney disease series. And today's question is how much water should you drink if you have polycystic kidney disease? Yeah, so we, I think last two episodes, we we touched on this. Um, I think, so one of the things first, we want to prevent and avoid dehydration. Um, usually for PKD, um, we want people having at least three liters or around 100 ounces of water a day. Um, something that's important to remember with this is avoiding, you know, excessive salt intake, keeping that sodium intake less than 2000 milligrams. Overall, our goal is that we want to suppress that vasopressin, which can promote more, you know, cyst, cyst cyst growth. Um, But the other thing is we also want to reduce um, the urine saturation. So we make sure that stone formation and things like that aren't coming into play. Um, The other thing too, to note is that as, you know, with PKD and as kidney disease progresses, you know, someone's on dialysis and they're not urinating, you know, of course we, that fluid intake or water intake would need to be adjusted based on that. But typically um, that's what we're looking at is avoiding dehydration, um, getting at least three liters of water in a day. Um, You addressed caffeine in a past episode, how, um, you know, we don't see in human studies that that's something that needs to be avoided in people with PKD. Um, something that just a reminder as well is that with, um, you know, PKD, of course, there's inflammation and we're always looking at that with kidney disease and with polycystic kidney disease. But I think it's important. And we talked about, you know, ketosis and stuff in past episodes. Um, But especially what I would say for people to avoid drinking is those sugary drinks and beverages, um, you know, whether it's added sugars or even artificial sweeteners, it's it's focused on getting the water in and the hydration in, not having um, sodas and sweet teas and juice and, and things like that, because those are added sugar, they don't have the fiber in them. And so um, lots of water, cutting out the, the sugary drinks and uh, making sure to limit the salt in the diet. And that is it. Hope that's helpful, you guys.